so in this video we will be creating a network component using react hooks just from scratch okay and th in this network component will be responsive using J plain javascript it will be re reusable as it will be using functional arrow components using react hooks as well as it will be style agnostic which means that you can have any style you want it is it does not depend on the styles and it, it can be on any style for desktop and any style for mobile okay so let's have my navbar component ready with nav tags and h1 tag i now just added for the logo and now i will add the ul tags with li tags for the list and of home about us uh, service and contact us so i have already added now let's see wh what that looks and it looks like this okay horrible mess okay now and it is also not responsive as well so let's add the style so i am adding display flex and justify contents as center so let's get uh see what happens okay that's what i am desiring uh except the list style so i already added now the na and some style to nav and some style to ul so feel free to pause and watch now let's see uh, yeah that's perfect and i was uh, searching for this and it looks perfect now so now what i'm gonna do is i will create a list component and there i will uh, wait a second let me create this list component uh okay this arrow functional component this will be for the nav items which i will store and these nav items can be reused in different lists such as mobile list and the uh, desktop list as well okay so let me cut paste this and the ul with the style and here it goes okay now i've cut and i uh, pasted it there now let me save this file and now let's render this list component here okay the list component is rendered here now let's see yeah it's working fine absolutely fine now i will create the mobile list component uh, but for that i will need to uh, uh, make sure that the device is now in mobile state or is uh, or in the uh, desktop state for that i am using the uh, is mobile and state is mobile i mean using the u use state which now i will import and use as well um, uh, I have this VS Code extension to use it and uh, you know import it as well. So I will write the window dot match media where I will uh, pass in the media query that is uh, max width is to seven is to seven sixty eight pixel. But you can use any uh, size you want, uh, uh, suit according to your needs. So. Uh, there I will add this dot matches uh, th this will return a true or false okay uh, depending on the state and now I am uh, rendering it conditional rendering it according to the is mobile or not if true then h1 tag of mobile and if not then I will, re I will render the list so there are two different tabs for the desktop and, and the mobile view uh, as you can see respectively so but the resizing doesn't work as well right so let's add this resizing facility um, feature now uh, for that i will use the use effect which is equivalent to the class components component int bound and uh, window dot add event listener resize and i will pass in the uh, set um, an arrow function anonymous arrow function where i will set the is mobile is to um, uh, the previous value of window dot match media uh, dot matches that value will only be passed on uh, uh, resizing it will again uh, um, uh, match the media query and if found positive then it will return true and if found negative it will return false so as you can see now the resize is working so yeah that's it now let's create the uh, mobile list component so for that uh, i will uh, let's create that uh, now for the it, this will be for the mobile version of the nav and let me create that for the toggle button uh, you can have a toggle button on and uh, you cannot have it's about according to you but for that i will use the active and set active use state function where it will be uh, initially a false uh, boolean value and on, on clicking the button it will uh, set the not active that is it will toggle the state of active okay and according to that it will show the menu or close the menu okay so let's uh, um, now render instead of h1 tags i will render the mobile list uh, now this is just for testing
let's test this out and you can see that show menu and close menu are working that is in the mobile list is working absolutely fine and the toggle button is wa working absolutely fine i mean so now let's add the list component here okay and by the way you can see that i have used a, a shortcut for the react fragments okay so uh, the list component will be rendered um, uh, if the active is true and if uh, will not render if the active is false as well so yeah you can see that the mobile list is now working fine but we need to style it right so now i will add the styles prop to the list component which will add the uh, and render so this style component will now uh, serve as the style purpose and now in this you will style you know i will add that style component so let's add this style prop to here and i will cut paste this now this uh, um, tutorial will have the desktop first approach but feel free to use the mobile first approach mm, okay so here i am passing the desktop first approach to the list component there and here i will pass the style variable i mean the prop that i am receiving from the paint component um, yeah, now I have added the mobile uh, styles for the mobile. You can see. Feel free to pause and see it. Okay, and now see the uh, it is working, and this is kind of the bootstrap style. Okay, uh, not really, but um, kind of similar to that. So on resizing, it uh, becomes the desktop site, and on uh, on resizing again, it comes to the mobile site. Okay, uh, now let's add some styles for this. Okay. some styling examples as i promised in uh, previously so the uh, i messed up sorry but uh, so i am starting with style 2 for uh, and it, this is the bootstrap style for the mobile components okay and these three styles are all for mobile components but you can have uh, different component uh, different styles for desktop as well okay so uh, as you can see that i am passing this position relative left padding left list style etc and uh, for that it becomes the like likewise bootstrap style but this is for my uh, my choice okay and this happens when it is on the desktop side okay and this is the style uh, one i am using for which the every list will have the text align of center and also i am using a overlay here as you can see uh, after b uh, below the list i am using a overlay of this div wh which will uh, uh, on clicking will uh, toggle the active state of the menu okay so let's see now as you can see there is an overlay which has a blur f uh, uh, blurring the background okay and on clicking that you can see and uh, okay so first add some style that is list style none and now see there is this uh, welcome tutorial written and on clicking the uh, overlay you can see that it is closing okay and now the third style now this is my favorite style that is the floating menu items uh, style uh, here you can see and for this i am using the list style component as well and uh, you can see that i have removed the div and for the list style is common for every list item and ul style is the style 3 feel free to pa uh, pause and watch okay thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to this uh, ch uh, channel if you like this video benefited from this video otherwise thank you for watching thank you